Hello everybody, welcome back to the Epic Flight Academy. This is the Private Pilot Ground School course. My name is Mike Thompson. Remember, three keys to success in this course. Number one, you must be studying Epic's online course and all the references that go with it. Number two, these videos just parallel that content. And number three, please review all of this material in detail with your flight instructor. Now, here I am with my magic wand, and uh, I'm prognosticating. What am I prognosticating? I'm prognosticating what we think the weather might be in the near future. Well, <laughs> you know what? Prognostication, that's a pretty big fancy word. And that's really what it means. It means to try to determine what the future holds. In aviation, pilots use what we call prognostication charts, or for short, you're just going to hear them called prog charts. Let's talk for a second about prog charts. Prog charts are normally updated every three hours, and their primary purpose is to indicate areas of low visibility give us an idea of what ceilings might be, and warn us of any turbulence or icing or marginal VFR, IFR weather, and to give us a good estimate of where freezing levels are. So let's take a look at our example. In our example here, we have low level or surface prog charts. And I want you to notice a couple of things. Across the bottom of the chart, do you see that oval-shaped solid red line? What that means is the areas within that solid red line will have ceilings of 1,000 feet or less and visibilities of 3 miles or less. Again, looking towards the bottom of the chart, you see the blue wavy line. We call that a scalloped line. That blue scalloped line is surrounding areas where the forecasters think that the ceilings will be between 1,000 and 3,000 feet, and visibilities will be between 3 and 5 miles. So what if I'm looking at this chart, for example, um, in our example on the screen here, if we went out to Nevada, and it's not within any of those areas. Well, the prediction there then is that the ceilings would be at or above 3,000, and visibilities would be at or above 5 miles. Now, the next thing I want you to notice on the prog chart are these teal colored lines. This teal colored line comes in two varieties. There's the teal dash line, and then the teal zigzag. Now, both of these lines represent a freezing level. The teal zigzag is the freezing level at the surface. And you can see on our example here, the teal zigzag. That's where they're predicting the freezing level will be at the surface. Now, on the example, if you look at some of the teal dash lines, notice those come with a numeral. That numeral represents altitude in thousands of feet, where they predict that freezing level is going to be. So let's wrap up prog charts with a simple review question. If you were flying to an airport that was inside of the red solid line, what is the prediction for visibilities? And if you said three miles or less, you are correct. Well, folks, that's a review of prog charts. Come back and join us next time.